Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And the Arizona Cardinals are signing veteran cornerback Dequez Denard to a one-year deal. And so this right here will be a welcome addition to a secondary that saw Patrick Peterson leave. But they did bring in um, Malcolm Butler. I'm at the cornerback position. And so they've definitely, um, you know, made a lot of moves on the defensive side of the ball. And if you really look at their defense, you know, and looking at the, you know, the defensive line, the addition of J.J. Watts, you know, they still got, you know, Zach Allen, um, Chandler Jones. Um, and then you look at the linebackers, you know, Isaiah Simmons, um, Zavon Collins, you know. So they've got a lot of nice looking pieces on the defense, you know. And so they're definitely, you know, so a team that can hopefully improve upon where they were last year, where they were sort of middle of the road. Um, this past season. And so certainly excited to see that unit. But in terms of what the Quest and has done so far since he's been in the league out of Michigan State at five feet 11, about 205 pounds, um, he spent his first um, like ever since he entered the league, but he was drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals and he was with the Bengals from 2014 to 2019. So basically six years in the league with the Bengals. During that time in 77 games that he suited up for, he had 24 starts, um, three interceptions during that time frame, um, even three sacks. Um, three forced fumbles, and he recorded a total of 274 tackles during that time frame and five quarterback hits. And then his one year in Atlanta this past season, um, of the eight games that he suited up for, he got to start six, had one interception, five pass defenses, and um, a total of 36 tackles, um, as well as two tackles for a loss. And so certainly a veteran that's going to come and add to more, you know, um, another option for the Cardinals in the secondary. And so that'll be great. That'll bode well for them to be able to match up like a team like Seattle or the Rams, you know, or even the 49ers. So certainly understand wanting to have more cornerbacks um, makes sense for the Arizona Cardinals. Now a little bit about his time, you know, at Michigan State, some of the things that he was able to accomplish um, for the Spartans. That goes back to, um, let's see, just looking here at Michigan State's website. And so even um, – yeah, so back to his high school time, he participated in the 2009 Georgia Athletic Coaches Association North Star, I mean North South All Star Game in Columbus, um, Georgia, and scored on a 48 yard reception in the third quarter. Um, he was a four year starter um, at Twiggs County High School in Jefferson, Georgia, and a two time Associated Press All State selection um, at wide receiver. Named the Atlanta Georgia, I mean the Atlanta Journal Constitution All State Team as a defensive back in 2009. So certainly someone that was good on both sides of the ball on, you know, as a receiver and as a defensive back. Um, and then you look at um, as a freshman, a true freshman appeared in six games, including two starts um, at cornerback, both against Illinois and Northwestern. He did not play the last five games of the season due to the knee injury that year. And that was 2010 In 2011 as a sophomore, he was the honorable mention, all big 10 selection for media. He recorded 42 tackles. Um, in 11 games of action, tied for third in the team with six pass defenses and three interceptions and three pass breakups. And so fast forward to 2012, first team all Big Ten selection by the coaches and second team choice by the media. Also first team all Big Ten pick by ESPN.com, collegefootballnews.com, and Phil Steele um, finished number 19 on ESPN.com's final Big Ten player rankings, having started all 13 games for the Spartans and tied for team lead with three interceptions and also tied for team lead with 10 pass defenses. And so fast forward to his um, senior season in 2013, um, in which he was the first Spartan to win the Jim Thorpe Award, um, given annual, given basically to the nation's best defensive back. Um, he was the first Spartan cornerback to be named an 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 anonymous first team All American Walter Camp American Football Coaches Association Football um, Writers Association of America, ESPN.com, USA Today, CBS Sports, Sporting News, and so forth. You know, he was named one of the five finalists for the Bronco. Yeah, Bronco um, Najewski um, Trophy, which goes to the nation's best defensive player and the first Spartan to be named a finalist for the award, um, named winner of the 2013 Jack Tatum Award and so forth. And so, yeah, he certainly had a standout career during his time um, at Michigan State. And so many, many accomplishments um, throughout that time. And so when you look at what they were talking about him when he came out of the draft, um, some of the things that they referred to 
in terms of what his strengths were was that he was extremely physical. And that's something that you certainly saw if you watched the tape at Michigan State. He was certainly a physical cornerback, you know, great with his hands um, and very well could, you know, mess up a receiver's route. So that was something that he was definitely um, good on. And he strives to press coverage. And so he's a great tackler as well, very violent tackler, um, natural at using good technique. And he can stay even in coverage and will go up and knock the ball out of the air. And so they say he has a bit of a playmaking ability as he had 10 career interceptions at the collegiate level and a very, very hard hitter um, and solid size as well. So some of the weaknesses was that they say that sometimes he can be too physical. We've seen corners like this, but that's never really something that you, you know, as a coach would complain about. Obviously, you, it hurts your team sometimes if you get caught up being too physical, drawing penalties and things of that sort. But you definitely love a guy that's going to go out there and give his effort um, for sure. And so, um, but he will draw flags and coverage um, at times. And he's good at holding and getting away with it sometimes, but obviously you're not going to always get away with it. Um, but that being said, he's mostly a press type of cornerback um, for sure. So certainly, you know, looking forward to seeing how he fits in with the Cardinals moving forward. Um, but certainly like this signing for, for um, Arizona and excited for their season, honestly. This could be a big year for the Cardinals. And we'll see just how big in a couple months, though. But thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.